Can you hear me above the rain? The rain is quite loud here. Anyway, this table saw I got from my grandfather and it might need some love. The guard, saw blade guard, is broken. So could use a tune-up. I'll see if I can print one in my 3D printer. It's also lacking a rotation handle for same as this one. And this one is loose, so I need to tighten that. Um, I think I can do some sort of uh, 3D printed rotation handle for that one. Just need, just need to get some measurements and make it sturdy enough so that the strap screw will hold it in place. One could say that it's bacon in the oven.
I designed and printed this rotation handle. This hole is for the, um, the screw. So I will thread it. And then the screw, this flat region here. And we lock it in place and then you can turn it. <laughs> This time I just remove the supports and then try to thread it from there. So I haven't actually drilled anything, so the hole is quite rough. And it seems to work fine. I found a screw that was <laughs> almost too short, but it works fine. You can see over here that the um, degrees are changing. So that works really well. Here is the old throat plate. And here's the new one that I designed and printed. I still have some support material to remove, but I have tested that they actually both fit into the place of the throat plate on the, on the table saw, the throat plate. You can see that the old one is, <laughs> it's in a rough state. I was worried that the printed one would feel a bit flimsy, but <laughs> compared to this, when it's broken and, and this actually looks a lot more flimsy and this looks more sturdy since it's almost solid. The two pieces seem to fit quite nice together. Uh, there's a little bit of a height difference, so I'll try to to remove that with some filing. Uh, I did have some trouble with this corner where the print actually lifted off the bed. Um, maybe you can see that it's the height difference there is, is more larger. Maybe I can fill it with something. We'll see.
that feels like a perfect fit. Here we have the um, the area where the print lifted off the bed and it's actually on the right side. I'm only sewing from this side. We could leave that at it as it is. Just screw it in now. It's I think it's going to be better leveled than the old throat guard actually. <laughs> you can see the angled space for the angle of the blade with a new new rotation handle. And we're at max. That looks really good. I don't think I even will glue them together because they each have four screws. They're so tight. I think that will be fine. Uh, if I notice that they start to wander or vibrate or something, I will rethink my choice. Something negative with this new throat plate is that the screw heads are actually protruding, protruding, sticking up, sticking up a bit out of the material or the plate. I will see if I can how it is to actually saw with that. Let's try it out. the screws when the ABS use could say it's the um, adhesive to the to the bed for the printer when this has worn out it's gonna look all blue and it will even be a bit pretty it's the pretty shop now or, or soon <laughs> 